Let's keep zooming in uh, and here's kind of the area that they're a little bit concerned with. Um, let's go ahead and switch over to our storm relative velocity if we could. Uh, Taylor and we're going to notice that this storm does have a little bit of rotation. It is weak rotation again. Uh, the National Weather Service Little Rock issued this tornado warning. Uh, it, it, what <laughs> you can debate whether it's a it's a good warning or not, but either way, uh, they, they do have the tornado warning for it there in Logan County. And uh, we, we do have this uh, little bit of rotation anyway with it. Uh, let's let's go back in time. Maybe we can find a, a time frame here in which we had uh, a little better rotation with this storm. Let's uh, go back in time just a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit there as it was near the Boonville area. But uh, at no point has this storm really had a particularly impressive rotation, but it, it could have at some point anyway produce a tornado. So. Uh, we're going to have to take this seriously. The National Weather Service did issue the tornado warning after all. And so uh, you can see between Boonville and uh, Waveland, we've got that tornado warning. Let's bring back radar. We can actually see uh, where they drew that polygon right here uh, into uh, it looks like parts of Yale County as well. And uh, you can see uh, the tornado warning right here. Uh, Taylor, how long does this tornado warning go for? It goes until 145. Until 145. All right. And we can, you can see we're bringing up Taylor there on camera too, um, whenever we have him uh, available. Anything new from the National Weather Service on the storm? Yeah, nothing really new from the National Weather Service. Uh, they've, you know, just posted that warning and said as the line continues to move in, that tornado threat could potentially increase for the central Arkansas area. Right. Um, I don't know that it's really increased just yet for this particular storm. Um, but again, we've got a tornado warning. Uh, we got to stay on top of it. Uh, again, this is for Logan County. If you're just now uh, tuning in right now, we do have a tornado warning uh, again in Logan County. This uh, extends really. It's not for the Boonville area. It's almost just to Boonville, but any threat of a tornado is really approaching the magazine area and Mount Magazine. Uh, let's really zoom in here. If you wouldn't mind, Taylor, really zoom in on Logan County and that way we can get a really good perspective of where there could be. It's a very small tornado threat, but there, there is a tornado threat there. Uh, you can see between Subiaco and Magazine right over the top of Mount Magazine. I would say if you're staying at the lodge uh, at Mount Magazine right now, you need to be indoors. You need to be as low as you can possibly get and uh, you certainly want to be in an interior room. You don't want to be on one of the second or third floors. You want to be as low as possible in an interior room. If you're there uh, at the lodge, if you're just if you just happen to know somebody who's maybe uh, out at Mount Magazine today, I, I definitely would give them a call up. This is going to continue to make its way to the east northeast. Uh, let's go back in time. We can get a better idea of uh, the movement with this storm, and you can see it's basically off to the uh, east northeast. It did have just a little bit of a kink right there near Boonville as we put this back and uh, move this back forward again. You can see with time it moves along Highway 10 for a little bit and then it kind of cuts north of that and uh, near the magazine area. I know there is a large basketball tournament uh, that is going on in magazine. If you're watching from that basketball tournament in magazine right now or in that area in general, uh, I would say the tornado threat is starting to pass off to east northeast. So this was just issued. It may not have given you much warning, but I can tell you right now uh, in magazine, we're starting to see that threat of a tornado shift further off to the east. There is still a straight line wind threat, though, in, uh, in magazine and in Boonville as well. You could see those winds pick up quite a bit. Uh, the damaging straight line winds with this storm as it moves uh, between Boonville and Magazine down Highway 10. Uh, and if you're at that tournament, again, stay indoors away from windows, but the threat of a tornado is passed. It looks like now if there's any threat of a tornado, it's right here between Driggs and Subiaco. Let's switch back over to our storm relative velocity again. And Darby, they did just cancel this tornado warning. Okay. Uh, so let's zoom back out again. Uh, again, th th there obviously wasn't much of a threat with this particular storm, but we go on the air for all tornado warnings uh, and we wanted to make sure we got on the air for this one. Let's zoom back out. Radar uh, going to show us that we do have again a, a, a whole line of storms still pushing through. So a quick update, at least on the severe thunderstorm warning storms from Polk to Scott to Logan County. Uh, very intense line continuing 
to push its way through. We're going to continue to watch this line as it pushes into Johnson County. Definitely going to be some strong wind gusts. No warnings in Johnson County, but there actually is a little bit of a straight line wind damage threat despite not having the warning in Johnson County. And you're seeing the lightning pick up right here. So some intensification of some of these storms. Watch out in Clarksville for potentially very strong winds as these uh, lines of storms push through. Same thing in the rest of Logan, Scott, Polk County. And again, if you're at that tournament magazine, uh, you'll start to see that rain begin to taper off soon. We're already seeing it taper off along the I-49 corridor in uh, northwest Arkansas and uh, Fort Smith. We're just about done and the rest of the weekend looks much nicer after this. Uh, wet ground, I'm sure, but otherwise better weather. So we'll continue to watch this line of storms. If you're in the path of this line, stay indoors and away from windows. We'll have more updates throughout the afternoon. Keep it tuned to 4029. We'll keep you updated. This is a Our family at Bud Anderson wants to say congratulations to the winner of our heating and cooling.